Welcome back, guys. Seven Trail Bros. Love here. All right, today, just a little update on what's been going on and just some news. And uh, today, I'm also going to show you guys a product that I received from Vita King bath salt. So, still sealed, as you can see here. And I uh, just want to do like a video of like a first time video and uh, a review video, see how everything smells like and whatnot. And uh, the birds are ready, so they're ready. They're they're waiting for me. Got the bath hands in there. Cocks are ready for a bath, so let's go give them some bath, set them up, take a uh, take a video of them. All right, everyone. So here's the bath salt that Viking got me. Still sealed, so let's open it up and see how it looks like. Let's see here, the opening. Mmm, smells just like, smells kind of like the, um, the Bayer's uh, basil that I used too. Must be that, that salt smell, so cool. It's, uh, it's orange, so. Smells good. All right, let's give the birds back. Okay, so cops are done taking a bath. They're just chilling over there now. Let's go and give uh, the hens and my lay hatches a bath too. Okay, guys, we'll just let the birds dry up from the bath. Numbers are done, hens are done, everybody's just chilling. So we're gonna let them kind of chill and hang out. And the cocks over here, just chilling as well. Just got done uh, feeding them and watering them as well. So they got the whole shebang today, bath, feed and water so pretty cool pretty cool let them do their thing 
look at this beauty. That's a wild ranger. She's a beautiful light checker. Yeah. Beautiful birds. All right. I'll show you guys, let these guys drop, and I'll show you guys some lay hatches that I decided to stock. All right, guys. So after the bath, here's one of the stock birds I decided to hold, uh, keep back. This is 344. This is a direct son off Boldos, uh, Turkhan and Boldos Beauty. And just doesn't want to stay still, and I like that. Very high spirit. Very wild. Never calm. Beautiful flights. Very nice bird. Very nice tail. Nice tail and back. But one thing I really love about this this boy is this that. vibrating, vibrating. This guy, if you're just holding his hands, holding the hands, he's just vibrating. His body, his muscles, his wings, non-stop vibrating. Look at this wing. Super bird. This is a full brother to my Tegdosis Princess. Uh, she's the first place 350 mile final race Crooked River winner in 2019. And third place average speed won me $12,820. And then the full brother to Two Doses Prince, who's uh, my Midwest Convention uh, money uh, uh, money winner and race winner. Ninth place, uh, six numbered ace while Wisconsin that year. Down for my proven blood. Turkon and Bulls Beauty, some of the best stuff. Awesome bird, awesome bird, awesome bird. And like I said, you can just hold this bird and this bird is vibrating. Muscles. Everything's vibrating. I'll show a clip too of, uh, of 344 here. Of him on the perch. And all he did was you can just see his wings just vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. Let me know in the comments below. You see this video right here. And then we're back. But yeah, you can just see the bird, the wings vibrating, vibrating, vibrating. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this, this trait this phenomenon, whatever you want to call it, why the bird's wings vibrate so much. All right, three, four, four, guys. All right, guys, so I had to go inside and put on the hat. Uh, but here's another very nice one that I stock too. This is three, six, eight. Very beautiful cock bird. Like I said, for some reason, I brought a lot of cocks this year. He's still molting around the neck. This one's a little bit, uh, the blue is a little lighter than my typical blue bars in the loft too. But this is a special one. This one's a double inbred mating. Sire is my, or sorry, my full doses prince. He's my uh, BGR, 2021 BGR Equal First Money Winner. Won $8,300 that first year that Yanni uh, did his BGR race. 
very nice bird. I have uh, some full siblings on the races right now. So hopefully uh, they do well. And then the dam is my Tudosa's princess. With that solid back and tail. Look at that. So it's my uh, Tudosa's princess, my Crooked River winner. Uh, so that's a double bulldozer uh, beauty mating. That very awesome bird. So it's a uh, it's a grandson of Harry made to Bulls Beauty on top, and then it's Turkon made to Bulls Beauty on the bottom. So double Bulls Beauty. This will turn out very beautiful. Very strong wings. That. Look at that. Very strong bird. And of course those nice and plump. Lots of muscles. Very beautiful bird. So this, here's another one that I stocked. This is a double Bulldoze of Beauty. A very beautiful specimen. Very beautiful. Off two, one off, equal first uh, money winners. Two of Bulldoze Beauty's winning kids. And uh, this one's stock. Got the full sims on the races this year. We'll see how they do. All right, here's a very nice one too uh, that I also stocked. And again, it's a cock. I bred a lot of cocks this year. I don't know why, whatever for whatever reasons, just high percentage of cocks this year. So here's another one. Very beautiful bird. Very strong hands, very intelligent, very wild. But it was three, four, five. So it just would not stop moving. It wants to get out, but three, four, five. Awesome bird. Very awesome specimen. Nice little trucker. This is a double Turcon. I have full siblings on the races this year as well. One is on a one loft and one is on a fraternity race. So this one's a double double grandkid of Turcon. Sire's my two doses prince. My Midwest Convention money winner. Made it to Wild Midwest. Almost done with the moat. He's pretty much done with the body. More on the neck drop his couple flights in the tail and it should be good very strong bird look at that tail nice straight nice back one pin this guy's just moving very plump lots of muscles smaller birds smaller bird on the hand just wants to go. Very beautiful cock. Very feisty, very mean. This is a uh, half similar to a lot of money winners already, a lot of race winners from both the sire side and the dam side. Uh, Turkdoza's Prince and Wild Midwest are probably my top two best breeding kids from Turkon as of now. They both won money, they both won their races respectfully, and their kids have won money and races. So, two best breeding kids off of Turcon, best racers and best breeders, all in one right here. It's a very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful specimen. All right, double grandson of Turcon. Now for the hens and the younger ones. This is a very, very special specimen that I actually kept. I was blessed to have as well. Finally bred a daughter off of my main pairing, Turkon and Bulldoze Beauty. And uh, there she is. This is 344, or 343, I'm sorry. 
three for four is the nest mate. The cock I showed earlier. Three, four, three. This hen is beautiful. Just like the brother. Just like the nest mate brother. Very wild. Look at that fight. Just fighting. Fight, fight, fight. Ooh. One thing I hate about handling birds that have this trait is they always mess up the feathers. But I love the trait, I love the sign, I love the characteristics, I love the spirit. This is also one thing I look for in pigeons. I think these are special pigeons in my opinion. Very beautiful head. And again, this is a daughter off of Turkon, Bolo's Beauty. Just would not stop moving. Make it quick with her. I have two daughters breeding from this mating now. One is Tickles' Princess, the full sister, and this one. Up the flights and the feathers. She has a nice tail. She's just pretty wild. Doesn't want to sit still. Very nice tail back. But yeah, very beautiful head. Blessed to have this one. Look at her. Just look, just take this moment, just kind of look at her. Look at how she's looking around. She's fine to get out of my hands. She's looking straight back. Just go. Love this tree. Let's look how she's so observant. Yeah, 343, three. daughter of my best, one of my best pairings, and my best breeders in the loft. Full sibling has sent to many winners. All right, so these are the last hatches of the year, and I think I've stocked some real nice ones. Uh, here's one of them. This is 389. Oh, sorry, 390. But, uh, this is a very special one. This is off of two of my most money winners in the loft right now. This is a direct kit off Goki Yellow, my Quebec Classic Equal First Money Winner. It was a uh, equal first, fourth trap on the final. And the fourth average speed, or sorry, second average speed. Equal first, fourth trap, second average speed, won $25,187. And then damn is my Tardosis Princess. First place, Crooked River winner, final race, third place average speed. Won $12,820. And this is a combination of the two. That, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I just, these are part of my special, uh, my special project. Last two meetings. And uh, this, this is a super nice one. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Fight. Love to fight this age. So this mating, stock this one. Looking 
go. At a young age. This is very special, very special, special, special. So this is a uh, goes back to uh, Peter Yang's inbred bulldozer 5427. A double great grandkid. Because bulldozer's beauty, which is the grandmother, and bulldozer 411, which is the grandfather, um, are nestmates. So this is a you could say lime bread bulldozer with some lime bread turk lime bread bulldozer both side lime bread turk from both side and this is very awesome this is very beautiful very beautiful specimen from two one loft winners and top top ever speed look at that fight messing up their own flights but yeah let's go ahead and let them go and then the last lay hatch that I stocked to show you guys is 387. 387. Now this one, I stocked this one, the nest mate, and the older round. Very special mating right here. Look at that fight. Look at that fight. Very special mating. This is a very inbred bulldozer. Four time Peters 5427. Look at that. This is a nest mate mating. Very inbred. Very inbred. So it doesn't handle the nicest. I'm not surprised. Tail's pretty decent, not the best. But for a very inbred nest mate mating, this will do. I said Bulldozer 411, the Sire, Bulldozer 411, Brad McQuivis Classic Money Winner. And the dam is Bulldozer Beauty. My best breeding hen in the loft right now. Brand me to Dosa's Princess, to Dosa's Prince, for Dosa's Prince. So this is half sibling to all my money winners, my big money winners. This is all bulldozer. This has no trick on it, no trick blood. This is 100% all original Peter Yang Midwest Loft. Both parents were bred by Peter. And uh, some news out there. Um, one of my buddies actually has something similar to bred like this. It's a full sibling. Now, I had the nest mate, 411 and 410. But my buddy, when he had 411, he gifted my other buddy a very inbred mating like this one. This year, that hen was bred and is bred some, I think a two time first on the uh, Twin City Concourse uh, club race here in Minnesota for my friend uh, Scrub Family Loft. This blood's hitting too. This blood is hitting for my friend Peter Yang as well at Crook. And I think down at Beaver Creek, I think. Don't quote me on it. And also his birds on his race team. But this is probably a very inbred, some of the best. Top two breed in the loft. Very beautiful specimen. All right, guys. Three, eight, seven. Very inbred bulldozer. All right, guys. You guys have it few days has passed uh so far the bath has been pretty good the bath salt uh, i like it. it 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 smells just like 
the Bears bath salt that I've been using. So I think bath salt in general smells the same. Well, but birds look great, birds feel great. And then I transitioned to showing you guys my uh, stock lay hatches and young birds. Now I have kind of a hypocrite on this part because I was kind of anti-stocking birds, why stock? Uh, but I think I've been in the part of my career where my loft has been very like concentrated of my winners that I always brought back and the breeders that bred my winners. So with that being said, uh, I sent a lot of uh, the same siblings to the ones I stocked uh, that I just showed in this, in this video. I sent them out to the races to test as well. And then these guys are just as good, if not better than the ones I sent out early in the year. And I think I'm at the part, like I said, I think I'm at the part of my career where I've, they're just great. And I'm willing to um, go all in on what I ha currently have right now. Um, and hopefully these guys can breed for me next year in 2024. And like I said, this is like, I'm, I'm like all in on this family. So that's why I've been doing uh, stock breeding and I kept these guys for stock. But yeah, so I didn't show you guys everything. Uh, I didn't show you guys all the birds that stock. There's, there are a few more that, that I decided to stock this year as well. Uh, I will be letting go a lot of birds this year. Um, so, you know, if you guys are interested, like I said, feel free to email me. I'll put that in my uh, description of my email. You guys can email me for inquiries of uh, what I have available. Uh, I, don't, I don't have many hens. I bred a lot of cocks this year, so I do have a lot of cocks that I can let go. Otherwise, for the most part, that's it. Just a little update, a little review on the bass salt. A little show and tell of the lay hatches and the young birds I decided to stock um, and breed for next year in 2024. And uh, stay tuned. I got some big news coming out. Um, I'm going to be traveling soon here. So uh, more content to come. So please, please subscribe and follow me. Uh, I post on Facebook a lot. I'm also on Instagram and also here on YouTube. But I'm always on Facebook and Instagram. That's where I'll update everything um the most so stay tuned but yeah guys that i'm gonna wrap things up here please like share and subscribe and also comment uh and i'll do the best i can to get back to you guys thanks for watching guys seven shot brothers love